what we're seeing is we're seeing a monetary contraction in the general consuming public and that means that it's harder to bring in money it makes it harder to close people generally are finding that the assignment market is now illiquid well speaking of winners we have a great guest for you guys right now we're gonna let him in because he's been waiting longer than even tk Hello, can you hear me? Hello, is uh, somebody out there? Anybody hear me? This is uh, Daryl, the dude calling from Norway. Live from Norway. It's a uh, Friday morning here and uh, everything is uh, super hunky dory. You know, so what is going on? Just a couple of uh, young dudes uh, hanging out uh, having a little fun. You know, some uh, having a little bit more fun than the other at the moment. Ooh-wee. <laughs> please subscribe and well mark thanks for joining us again i don't know how we talked you into coming on the show for a second time but you're here and uh we're gonna hold you up for the next hour daryl pays me it. a lot of money that's right that's right that so makes one of us we're siphoning all of these ad revenue funds that we make from the show right you can, have, you can have your ad revenue share of the show we promise we'll double it yeah <laughs> brilliant i love it i love it what is happening? How's how's things over there? I see generally you're good for an update on how uh, bad the market is from an interesting perspective. So how are the uh, bankruptcies or foreclosures or horrible pre-construction assignment deals going? Well, I'm good for that. I also sing a pretty mean lay mids, but you never really ask me about my core talent. So I'll, I'll instead speak about the, the real estate market. Thank you. Uh, so... Look, guys, things aren't good and they're getting worse. Um, it's the case that, you know, we've been holding our head underwater for a long period of time now. And that period of time is now really kind of making it so that people are sinking. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, real estate, uh, mortgages are kind of the last thing people uh, default on. There's a whole bunch of things that they default on before. Interestingly, the first thing is taxes, uh, because taxes don't get reported on your credit record and taxes, if your bank isn't paying them, um, taxes, taxes also can just kind of stay there for about three years before the city takes any enforcement action, followed by credit cards, followed by car payments, followed by mortgage payments. And what you're seeing is you're seeing, I'm much more interested in the consumer side of the debt right now. You're seeing consumer delinquencies. Uh, in credit cards creeping up. Uh, you're seeing tax arrears uh, creeping up. You're seeing the power of sale numbers creeping up, which is the ultimate uh, you know, thing that happens ultimately when things aren't being paid. And we're seeing in our office deal after deal after deal that is becoming more and more difficult to stitch together. What uh, does that you mean? Know, they, well, like, so, so, so a lot of people are not... Uh, the, the money is not the, liquidity is at a premium now, uh, whereas last year liquidity was everywhere. Less and less people have readily as available sources of liquidity. There still exists great pools of liquidity capital out there in the mortgage space and everything else. There is, however, a lack of liquidity amongst Uncle Bob and Aunt May, who you may have borrowed from at one point or your parents or your brothers or your sisters. Asking people to come in with checks is now creating real hardship, both because even if they have their existing HELOCs, those HELOCs are at a rate of seven, eight, nine percent, whatever it may be. Uh, but also because those HELOCs themselves have been curtailed as the bank is looking to the banks are now through Offspring looking to secure capital. And they're told that they need to have cushions available for when defaults begin. Uh, so what we're seeing is we're seeing a monetary contraction in the general consuming public. And that means that it's harder to bring in money. It makes it harder to close. People generally are finding that the assignment market is now illiquid. I think it's I think it's safe to say near illiquid, meaning mm -hmm. that they don't have an out of properties for which they purchased on assignment. Um, and on a whole, you're looking at a distressed market that is showing wear and tear. The high end market is one where there is an abundance of product, very few takers. The con new build construction condo market is one where people are actively sitting away. And this is all really made worse by virtue of the fact that 
there's no harm in sitting on the sidelines at this point. What's 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 the harm? Just wait. Your prices aren't going to be more next month. They're going to be less. So where's my impetus to actually rush and try to assemble my funds? And so it's having its effect in our office. We are seeing day. We're seeing. Uh, every week, we have at least one or two people who are defaulting on new construction, just saying, thank you very much. I would prefer to face the wrath of the builder through courts than the wrath of the lender. And, are, and what are uh, the builders doing? Are they going to court with that? Yeah, they are to, um, in in a limited sense. Um, in case they don't that make you up just start the difference? Now, yeah. well, well, that that's the thing. I've, I There was two, one builder who immediately filed claim against uh, my client. I was very surprised about that because... Remember, the builder has two years to sue, and generally most prudent builders go ahead and they figure out what their true loss is, right? They sell it. It takes some sell time. It, yeah. Right, exactly. So a lot of people know, a lot of people kind of get off, and then we're just waiting for the lawsuit to come in. But I have been privy to two or three lawsuits at this point where clients who have walked away have faced builder's wrath. Um, truthfully, the builders don't have much claim if they have gone ahead and resold uh, for something near market and the market is above what the deposit amounts have been. Um, and so most prudent builders are kind of waiting to see where things kind of play out, but very, no builders are, are providing mutual releases or the like in the, uh, in the good times. Occasionally you were able to go to a builder and say, come on, like my, my client's an injured war vet from Vietnam was chased by a pack of wolves, lost his kid, as he went barreled over Niagara Falls, gave a sob story. And then the builder said, yeah, yeah, we get it. All right. We'll sign a mutual release. And the reason yeah, they did that they'll is because sell they it knew, for more. Right, exactly. Keep, the, knew that keep the deposit. Yeah. But, but even so, some builders wouldn't do that. Take your but, deposit back. I'll resell it for another 150 bucks a foot. Go fuck exactly. yourself. Thank you. Have a nice day. In the but, good but they, times. They, they didn't need to sign those mutual releases. They just did. Um, but now in a falling market, I, I haven't seen a single one sign a mutual release. It's 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 bad. It's bad. And above all else, people are really hurting. This is not a fun game anymore. People who are closing are dreading the close. They are pulling out all stops in order to do this. No properties are cash flowing as, as was expected. And there's no way out. Uh, and made worse by government policy that has uh, instituted the anti-flipping policy that would have been a really good policy, perhaps, during the past if 10 years. Two years, right? 10 <laughs> years ago, maybe, right? <laughs> right exactly. But the, 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 same, government typi- yeah. the government typical fashion, they they shut down yeah. the assignment market. They they shut down demand yeah. from foreign buyers. And they bring us open bidding now that nobody's buying anything. Like, comment, and subscribe if you got anything from one of these clips. And if you want to see some more, press something on the screen here. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. That was good. I like that. That was good.